dark and disappoint one tenant who works on the island of Sodor. Sometimes he calls coaches. Sometimes he calls the trucks. But whenever there was, that was always getting jumped out of the mouth of us. One day, Zach was resting in his bed when the manager came to see him. Your walk in the yard is very good. Would you like to have a branch on of your own? Oh yes, please, sir, replied Zach happily. So Zach took the charge of his branch on it. It was part of their future. The line went along the coast by sandy beaches to the need support for the ship's that he could never turn the corners of the line. He leaves his bell to sleep high up in the air and his green paint glisten in the sunlight. This reminds me of a holiday with my dad. Oh, well, you know what to say, Dr. Driver. A change is as good as the best. Doc was having a laughing fun. Soon, he was busier than ever. The faculty was building a new station by the port, and that pulled the heavy trucks whenever they needed. Bert was about to help that passenger and the other engine had two, so he was totally done with the darkness. But work took a long time. The noises and dust filled the air. Don't worry, Jack Toby. The station is nearly finished. I'm not trying to see. Jack felt his responsibility deeply and talked endlessly about it. You don't understand, Donald, how much a back and forth relies on me, said Jack. Oh, time, muttered Donald sleepily. So you see, I'm a great lesson now. What? We heard. Right on a hiccup. Flowers like an eagle. No, we should let the engine sleep. <laughs> Quack yourself, said Duck and Dick and Dick. The next morning, Duck told his driver all about what Donald had said. Donald says I quack. I said by Lady A. Quack to you, wondered his fireman. And he whispered something to Duck and his driver. They're going to play Judge and Donald and pay him back the easy death. Duck chuckled to himself quietly. Later, the engines were very busy for the rest of the day, and nothing was all set. Not even. And when at last Donald was fell asleep, Duck's driving the fireman hopped something into his water tank. Next morning, when Jack stopped for water, he found that he had on his track the passenger aboard. There was a small white puppy, tossed out of his water tank. Hit Bill with this old man, Bill, laughed Donald. The puppy was pain. He chaired the fireman's sandwiches. He rolled into his tender. And sometimes the puppy would like to play a tick boo game with him. But all the other engines enjoyed teasing Donald about her. Presently, she grew tired of traveling, and she hopped off the station. And there she stood. That night, Donald's driver and the fireman got busy. And in the morning, when Duck's crew arrived to look him all over, they laughed and laughed. Look, Duck, look what's behind your bunker. It's a next buck with a leg in it. Donald's over his sleepy eye. Then Duck laughed too. <laughs> you win, Donald. It'll take a black connection to get the better of you. <laughs> Just upon the end of Duck and Duck, here's the obvious friends and working with friends they pass by. Sometimes the stage must be called her dearly. But to everyone else, it's always strange.